All right, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the clothing that I wear when I climb 14ers here in Colorado. I've climbed over 20 14ers and I have many years of experience to go ahead and help you guys figure out what's best to wear when you climb 14ers and hiking in general. A couple of rules that you wanna follow is never wear co cotton and make sure that you have plenty of layers. That way you can adjust your clothing based on the conditions that you're currently hiking in at the time. I found that the temperature fluctuates a lot throughout the day and it's better to have many options for layers rather than one jacket or something like that so you can adjust it as you're hiking the mountain because your temperatures are constantly going to change, the wind is going to change, and you know how hard you're working is going to change the temperature of your body so it's good to be able to make those adjustments on the fly and I'm going to go ahead and discuss the clothing that I wear today with you. Alright so if it's hot out I'm just going to have my base layer on. This is a Nike running shirt. I have an Eddie Bauer sun hat for sun protection. It's very breathable and doesn't make you too hot. I have a pair of O'Neill polarized sunglasses and then REI pants. I always wear synthetic clothing and uh, merino wool socks. And then I have uh, some REI synthetic underwear on as well. So everything, nothing is cotton, everything's synthetic or merino wool. All right, now let's say the temperatures are very low. It might be raining, sleeting, and it's very cold out. This is the max layers that I have available to me to keep me warm and safe while I'm on the mountain. And I keep them all in my backpack that I carry with me and all my gear. This is a Gregory hiking backpack. And it works great to fit everything in there. And it's just a super nice backpack that I have to keep all of my essential hiking gear in there. So on the top layer here, I have a Columbia Watertight 2 rain jacket. It's the hard shell. This is going to be your outermost layer to keep you dry, warm, and protect you from the wind. Right here I have some Outdoor Research Seam Seeker gloves. They're fingerless so I can still grip the rocks if I'm doing some scrambling. So they keep your hands warm and protected. Now you can adjust your layers depending on the temperature and the conditions that you're in at the time and make the adjustments accordingly so you're most comfortable but this is going to be the most protected that I am while I'm on the mountain. Let me just take these gloves off real quick and then I'll show you the layers that I have on underneath my rain jacket. And again, I'm adjusting these layers throughout the day depending on how hot I am or how cold I am. All right, so underneath my hard shell, I'm gonna have this North Face windbreaker on. It is uh, water resistant and it helps you block the wind, block some precipitation and keep you a little bit warmer if need be. But it's very lightweight and packs very small in your backpack. So it's, it's literally almost like nothing, but it works very well. As for the beanie, uh, this is a Columbia beanie that's synthetic with Omni heat on the inside just to keep your head warm. And then here I have my soft shell by Eddie Bauer. That's a quarter zip. And again, I can just keep adjusting these layers throughout the day, depending on what makes me most comfortable. Right here is an REI long sleeve shirt. Again, everything is synthetic. And sometimes I'll be wearing this if it's a little bit chilly or just to protect me from the sun. Whatever I'm feeling at that moment is what I'll put on or take off. All the way back down to the base layer. And those are all the various layers that I have to use in order to protect myself while I'm on the mountain. 
the clothing that you have with you is essential because that's how you make sure that you're safe by protecting your body from the sun as well as the conditions of the weather. For my footwear, I have La Sportiva, Nucleo, High 2, Gore-Tex hiking boots. They're very lightweight and provide good traction for climbing the mountain. I like these boots a lot. They're, I just got them recently. And keep in mind that I always wear merino wool socks so these are rei merino wool socks and i never wear any kind of cotton when i'm climbing 14ers or doing any kind of hiking and that goes over the footwear that i have on when i'm climbing 14ers all right so i hope that information was helpful for you in deciding what to wear when you're climbing 14ers or just hiking out in Colorado or anywhere that may have extreme conditions. It is very important to keep yourself safe while you're outdoors. And one of the ways you can do that is being prepared with the clothing that you bring. I've learned this through many years of experience and I've made adjustments throughout those years. And I've come to the conclusion that for me, this is the best option for clothing when I'm out hiking. Thanks for watching.